Good morning, folks. We've got weather warnings, magnetospheric plasma physics, and more on the rapidly evolving picture in climate science. Let's get started with our star over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on the sun. We're the quiet part. Tiny active regions are all on the far side, filament activity is minor around the limbs, and even the coronal holes are mostly polar confined. But the solar wind presented a slightly different story. Up top in blue, phi angle shifted this morning, bringing slight variability to the plasma stream, but ringing in the solar magnetic sector geomagnetic induction, driving the KP to a small rise today. Alert coming for Canada in the Midwest states tonight. That low is drawing a lot of energy up from the south and will trigger strong storms this evening. Severe events almost assured within the red zones. And we're moving on to the magnetosphere. Reading the open questions on magnetospheric plasma physics, I'm reminded of reading Hannes Alfain's classic book, Cosmic Plasma, where it seems that 40 years later the field is finally asking the same questions he did. Maybe they should read his book. Up next, we're looking at terrestrial gamma flashes from strong lightning. This is like an earth flare in the same way the sun releases solar flares from sunspots, and now they are determining yet another space physics control on them. The magnetic field alters where they believe the events are being produced, with a consistent trend in westward overestimation of source region. Considering that Fermi catches Earth flares by taking dings back and forth to the particles caught in the magnetic fields, one wonders how the ongoing magnetic shift of Earth will change this space interaction with super lightning. Okay now folks, if you haven't noticed we've been able to tell the same climate story with new papers almost every single week. This week is no different starting off with an identification of marginal improvements, but also the continued overestimation of temperature extremes in the climate models, especially in terms of the warming. Now quickly, as I'm saying this, veteran observers, why do they overestimate temperature changes in those models? Well, let's go over to our second paper from GRL today, this one looking at trends of the Antarctic sea ice and determining why they also can't seem to be well modeled. Their conclusion, bias oversensitivity to external forcing, which in this context means carbon pollution, has caused their models to propagate errors and misrepresent the climate trends. And so once again, veteran observers, what do we conclude? Well, let's bring aerosols back into the mix and describe their identification of the importance for cloud modeling, which is one of the worst aspects of climate models today, and which all leads to one ultimate conclusion, anthropogenic forcing, human global warming, is overestimated. Folks, can you believe the science world is doing the same story almost every week? I admit, I'm not bored with it at all. It's amazing that new papers are coming out so often to let us tell this story. To learn more about what shift is taking place in the field, read my open letter begging the American Geophysical Union to take advantage of this shift because it's shifting in a direction they already cover better than anyone else in the world. To learn more about what is slowly creeping into mainstream science at the frozen pace of academia, check out our textbook, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. 300 pages, the 500 most important citations, tons of HD graphics and images, the sun's control on weather, earthquakes, human health, technology, and a new special chapter 8 in this third edition, Super Flare, Magnetic Reversal, Solar Micronova, Earth's Catastrophe Cycle. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. See previews, get other downloads, and pick up your book at spaceweathernews.com slash publications. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 420 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.